Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn how to build a feature line washout. Now, feature line washout exists in a lot of modern car design and it especially exists in a area like this where you have a feature line over here merging onto a fender like this. If you see the uh, image over here, you'll also see this example quite clearly. So I'm going to show you guys how to build this. Now, one of the things that you have to do is so you got to make sure that you have the primaries set up correctly. So these are, well, I'm going to be using the exact same surface uh, from the Audi e-tron uh, course. So let's go ahead and uh, build that. So what you want to do is, so let's say you have a fender surface like this, so you just want to make sure that the primaries are all touching it. So um, let's say you have a feature line over here like this, so you just want to make sure that it's actually touching on the fender. So you just want to make sure that it's uh, when you project it from Y, it's actually on the surface like this. So if it is not, then you just want to use a stretch tool like this, snap it over here, and that's going to give you the result. And you also want to make sure that it's intersecting nicely like this. So let me just intersect, uh, just extend this one over here, and you'll see that the intersection is pretty clear, uh, clearly defined, and everything looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to do a little bit of surface cleanup. Uh, so let's, uh, actually I'm going to extend this back so that everything is somewhat uh, uniform. And I'm also going to trim some of these over here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab this one and this one. Actually, no, I'm going to grab these two. I'm going to just project it on Y. I'm just going to trim it like this. I'm gonna trim this one and I'm going to trim this one. Now this one, you don't, you can trim it, you don't have to. Uh, there's going to a fillet running through it anyways, so it's just really up to you what you, uh, what you wanna do. Uh, but just for, uh, just to make it clean, let's go in and uh, I'm just going to trim it uh, with the wheel fillet like this, and I'll just do that. And I think the primaries, uh, primary surfaces are set up nicely. Okay, so you just wanna make sure the highlight uh, looks good. Uh, you'll see that this one is running nice and straight like that. So I think it's I think it's ready. All right. So what you want to do is uh, for the feature line, it's going to extend a little bit into the fender area. So what you want to do is you just want to extend this curve, whatever uh, curve that you have for the feature uh, washout. And I'm just going to do a project like this. And now uh, let's go ahead and build a fillet. So. Now for this one, you can, uh, there are several options, um, but what I like to do is I just like to divide this surface over here. So I, I think I'm going to do that first, um, but it looks like there's a COS over here. So let me just delete that. And I'm just going to extend this all the way through like this. And I'm just going to do a trim divide. So I'm just going to divide these two like this and you have a third piece over here. Uh, Yes, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is just build a fillet, a surface fillet over here. So it's going to be cord, it's going to be G2 for the core length. I'm going to start with maybe something like 100 and see if it's big enough. Okay, so uh, I would say this, uh, the direction of the fillet uh, or those arrows need to be pointing this way because I'm building the fillet like this. And I'm just going to do an edge line over here and edge line over here. Now that's our, I think it needs to be a little bit bigger and depending on the situation you want to use either for, uh, for more of a G3 like continuity, you probably want to use a form factor of 0.5. But for this one, because I have to build a fillet here too, I think I'm just going to go simple and go with the form factor of one. Now I do think that this could be a little bit bigger. So let's just make it a little, a little bit larger. Actually, I can't quite, uh, well actually let's just Go back over here. Okay, so it looks like it's actually quite a bit uh, larger. So I'm just going to, let's see. I wonder if 300 is enough. Let's just take a look. Okay, so maybe a little bit more. And maybe I'll just go 400 like this. And I'm going to say update. Okay, so that looks good. It's probably a little bit bigger than what I had before. Uh, let's just take a look. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than uh, what I had, but it's okay, it really depends on what you wanna do. Well, you know what, I let's just go ahead and match it. I'll probably do, oh, I don't know why 350 doesn't build. Let's just check. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that worked uh, pretty nicely, and you'll see that now 
this surface and this surface is blending in nicely and I just have to do the same thing for this area. For this one, however, as much as I, I want to just use the fillet as surface fillet as is, I don't think I can quite do that. If I were to do 350 because of the angle, it's going to give me a, a different result. So let's just try with 100 and just to see how it does. And as you can see over here, it just stops right here. So uh, I'll have to custom build it. In order to do so, I'm just going to do undo over here and I'm going to just intersect this surface over here like this. I'm just going to create a curve. Now, because this is actually separated in two, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate it like this and I'm going to attach the curve using connect option. So I'm going to pick this one and this one and I'm just going to grab these ones and I'm going to say fit curve and just degree two and that should be fine. All right, and now I'm just going to, oh, that's not a degree two, that's a degree three. So let's just make it a little bit simpler. Oh, well, actually I'm going to delete that and let's go ahead and pick this one. It's going to be degree two over here. I'm going to delete the construction history like this. I'm going to snap it over here and I'm going to snap it over here. Now, of course, the shape is a little bit off. So what you want to do is you just want to um, regulate them. So I'm just going to use the stretch tool to maybe do something like that. And this one, I'll probably do something like this. So the spacing is somewhat even, although I think this one, I'll probably have to drag it over here like that. Okay, so you just want to make sure uh, what you're looking to do is, well, I think I'll just probably adjust the CV here a little bit. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure that the tangent line is a somewhat uh, equal distance from each other. I think this looks pretty good. I'll probably just reduce the crown just a little bit over here. And I'll just use the stretch tool to eh, maybe get it a little bit closer. All right. So now that the prep is done, I'm just going to go ahead and just project these curves over here like this. And that should be good. All right. So let's go ahead and trim this one over here. I'm going to say keep and I'm going to trim this one over here. And this one is no longer necessary. So I'm just going to hide it over here like this. And let's just bring that back. And let's go ahead and put a fillet between the two. Now, for this area, uh, what I need to do is I, I'm just going to put a fillet over here first. Now, let me just set this to curvature over here like this, and I'm just going to make this a default. Oh, uh, let's see why. First of all, I do need to hide this one over here. I'm kind of surprised that it's set up like that. Okay, so if that's the case, so let's go ahead and I'm going to set up a curve over here. So I'm just going to use a curve here and I'm just, well, actually, you know what? Let's hide these curves too, because I don't know, I, I don't I don't need them anymore. So I'm just going to place them in the, uh, in the separate layer and I'll probably want to create something like this. I'm just going to um, center the pivot and I'm just going to stretch like this and I, Right now, I don't have anything over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn merge off and I'm just going to extend this piece over here so that I have a surface to cling on to. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to grab this one like this and I'm going to project and that should give me uh, all the surface area that I need in order to do a blend curve like this. So I'm going to snap it over here like this over here and I'm just going to use the edit just to make sure that the direct, uh, curve direction is good. And now I'm just going to use a square. So it's going to be one, two. Uh, over here, you want to grab the surface filler itself, three and four. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'm going to make sure that one is curvature and three is curvature. And I'm going to do a rebuild on both. Okay, so there's a couple of, uh, extra, there's an extra span here. So let me see if I can uh, do a little bit better. So I'm just going to set it to five degrees on both sides. So it looks like it's not meeting curvature over here. I'm just going to do it on a line over here like this. And I'm going to say G2. Okay, so this one I, I can I think, oh, actually it looks like that's uh, not doing what's supposed to be. So I'm going to leave it as a skew. And I'm going to just say position influence set to max. It's still not giving me a curvature. So let's find out why. 
So I'm just going to use the surface continuity checker tool, show max label, show come on. I'm going to check it over here. Oh, okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of curvature deviation. Um, so let's just delete the construction history over here because I think it looks good. And if I were to just to use the highlight over here, you see that there's a nice transition onto the fender area over here. And this nicely fades into that. All right, that's it however, a uh, little bit of continuity issue over here. So let's see if I can um, do a little bit of adjustment. So I, I would prefer not to touch the CV, um, but let's see. So I'm just going to do a little bit of Okay, so I think that should be pretty easy to snap to curvature. Okay, so that looks good. And I'm just going to check the continuity, make sure that it's not failing position. And that's good. All right, so now let's go ahead and fill this area. So for this, uh, for a situation like this, I'm pretty sure I can just use a degree three curve. So I'm just going to snap a curve here like this, and I'm going to just align this one like this, and it's curvature over here. That should create a nice uh, transition there. So this one is no longer needed, so I'm going to delete that, and I'm just going to use a square over here. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. And I'm just going to make sure that everything looks good. Looks like it's a failing position over here. Uh, I'm going to turn re rebuild off. Oh, uh, explicit control looks like it's needed. Okay, so it's set to curvature. I think that's one of the reasons why it's failing. So let's just leave it for now and see how that does. I do need to make sure that four is curvature though. Um, looks like it's failing too. And let's just see. Okay, so. Well, if that's the case, uh, let's just make sure that both are curvature and let's just check to see if every, uh, any enhancements are needed. Now, as you can see over here, you see that the CV is dipping a little bit. So if I were to just leave it as free, um, you'll see the transition go like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align over here like this. I'm going to say partial. Oh, okay, so look, uh, well, position influence, uh, it's 1.0, it's not, 1.0, it's not really needed. But since it's like this, well, let's just do that. Okay, position influence is set to max, and let's see if I can rebuild this. So it's going to be, I'm just going to, well, let's base it off of this one. So it's going to be one, two. Notice that I clicked on the edge of this surface over here because I'm trying to rebuild it. Three and four over here on the corner. Okay, so two is going to be curvature, and that does fail it, but that's okay. Let's see how, uh, what kind of refinement is needed to make sure that that's uh, nicely done. Highlight looks pretty good. We got a nice uh, transition over here, so that's good. And let's just take a look at this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the surface continue tool, and let's see what needs to be done. Okay, so, oh, that's still, okay. Uh, it's failing over here, uh, position, it's actually failing position, so I might have to take a look at that. But let's start with this one. Okay, so that's curvature over here. It's curvature over here, and I'm going to say vector over here like this, and it's failing curvature over here. Let's try this one again. Okay, so it looks. At, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to curvature first. And this position, uh, let's see if I can actually fit it. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I can, but let's take a look. Okay, so this position over here, I got curvature over here. The only thing I'm missing is a little bit of curvature deviation here. So I'm just going to delete the construction history like this, and I'm going to grab this one over here, transform CV, and I think I should be able to get it. There it is, and I got curvature. Highlight looks nice, uh, all the surfaces are looking pretty good nice transition here uh, and you see the feature line just washing out nicely over here now you can end this over here or of course so you can always put a fillet so let's go ahead and put a tiny fillet over here so i'm going to say cord it's going to g2 uh, i'm going to say five and see how big that is yeah i think five should be good i'm going to say edge line over here and this one now you can put edge line uh, i'm not yeah, so here's a problem. You'll see that the CV structure is like this. So for this one, I'm just going to put it a default like this. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, extend might be better. And I'll probably just patch this in. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to extend this one back over. Oh, 
I think I need merge back on. Now, because this is, I'm ending it as a square, this might not have the best transition, but let's see. But I mean, just highlight wise, I think it looks pretty good. It's got a nice fade. So what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I think it is time to combine these back together. Because of this is just a single fender piece, I just trim divided it to for this uh, to have a nice transition over here. So what I'm going to do now is now um, you can use this line, you can use this line. I don't think it really matters that much, uh, whatever is convenient for you. But for this one, let's just use this one. So I'm just going to extend this uh, surface over here, and I'm just going to project this one over here, the bottom edge. This CWAS can be gone, and I'm going to just extend this one, extend, select it like this, and I do need this CWAS over here like that, and I'm just going to trim. Okay, so that gives me a nice square patch for me to fill in. So let's grab a square. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. And let's see if uh, if I set everything to curvature. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, it doesn't, but that's actually understandable just because, well, the angle of this is a little bit different. Um, so, well, let's find out if I can set this correctly. Okay, so I'm just going to, okay, so curvature deviation is quite off. Um, so let's see if I can get it to align. If I can, that's great. If I can't, that's fine too. Okay, as you can see over here, because of the shape over here, that's actually a failing tangency over here. Now, tangency you have to fit because this is supposed to be continuous. Okay, so I would say that's probably going to be a little bit difficult. Well, okay, you know what? At least I got curvature on three sides. Uh, let's see if I can fit this one. Um, I'm not, I don't think I can. Well, I can give it a go. Oh, okay, so you know what? Actually, it's bouncing up and down. It's probably not the best idea. Uh, another thing I can do is I can probably try to set this as a different direction. So let me see if I can do that. So I'm just going to delete the construction history on this one. I'm just going to hide it. And let's see if that's going to give me a better result. Now, the best result is probably going to be achieved by doing a filler like this. But because of the angle, this is probably not ideal. But let's go ahead and try this one. Okay, so I'm just extending the CWS like that. And I'm just going to do a square patch like this. And okay, so it looks like I'm actually failing a little bit more. But let's find out if this can be fit. Okay. So let me just actually do the continue check over here. Oh, wow, that's actually failing a little bit more. So uh, let's see. Okay, so it looks like actually rebuild helps over here. Uh, let's see. So it's helping ish. Okay, so now I'm just going to align this one curvature over here. Actually, it looks like the result is about the same. So I'm just going to align curvature over here and I'm just going to do a vector that's actually a failing tangency over here. So I would say actually the other one is a little bit better, but let's try tangent over here. So I'm going to try tangency. I'm going to say vector. Wow. Okay. So it looks like this one is actually giving a worse result. So I'll just go back to this one. All right. So I'm just going to untrim this one. Uh, let's get rid of the COS over here. I'm just going to project over here. At least so I got tangency on all sides. And while well, to be honest, highlight looks, you know, the transition is pretty smooth. So I would say this is a pass. All right. Uh, and let's just hide this one over here. Oh, uh, I think I accidentally hit this one. So let's bring that back. And there it is. And that's how you build a feature line washout. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.